This is Eric Maud with Mother.com. May 4th, 2021. Just want to highlight here that markets are beginning the day here down slightly. And we see that the cryptos are essentially, some of them that is, trading at all-time highs. We got Ethereum Classic just touched 64. Ethereum just touched 3,500. All this happening while BTC is down about 3%. Now, we can see Bitcoin is down. The general market is down. Recently, I was talking about a divergence in the market. And eventually, this divergence is going to have to resolve. Oh, by the way, we can see Ethereum Classic recording a fresh all-time high right there as I discuss this video and the current market chart. So, what I've been discussing here is there have been a divergence. Stocks have been showing some sell signals. Bitcoin not looking too hot. This divergence is going to resolve. And because the cryptos have had a big run, they've had a massive run recently, chances of the resolution being to the downside as far as cryptos are concerned are very, very high. Let's discuss the charts. Basically, in my opinion, these cryptos are setting the stage for a massive crash at some point, maybe even from this very instant because of the recent big move. So it wouldn't surprise me that we are looking at major highs for the cryptos for now with a crash impending and a big one at that so if we take a look at the s p 500 it does need to hold and maintain its breakout status otherwise right now it's not necessarily broken but it needs to hold above rsi 69.1 on the weekly if there's going to be sustained power in the general market Otherwise, should the RSI roll over back below 69.1, I would say that's the sign, early signs. Now, we can see that the Dow is also holding up very well. Its RSI, as of this very instant, is above that magic number of 69.1. And I'll get to the cryptos here in a second. But let's do some house cleaning. So the Dow does need to break out and sustain its breakout level. Otherwise failure to hold above this 34,200 level so let's say if the Dow was to roll over if the RSI was to drift below 69.1 be on the lookout for the entire global trading complex stocks cryptos you name it are gonna be due for a substantial reversal lower that's why we need to watch the general markets because the cryptos are not trading in their own vacuum they are trading with a good momentum to the upside because the entire global market has been at all-time highs essentially we can see here with the nasdaq over the last couple of weeks the market is not holding the nasdaq above the prior february weekly closing high in other words we see a failed breakout of course we know to watch for the recent weekly lows because should the nasdaq end up breaking below the recent weekly closing lows that's gonna be a second violation of its base and that would set the stage for some type of a push down so we need to be on the lookout for that down the road right now we can see here that we have a red flag because of the current multiple failed breakouts for the nasdaq that in itself is a type of a warning that this market is open for lower prices now to the main point so this is dogecoin of course we can see that this is the biggest move it has ever had since it started trading in 2014 the biggest move means it's due for some rest and not only some rest but a serious rest is needed just based on the simple fact of this move being the biggest it's ever seen we can see the same thing with ethereum this is the biggest price move ethereum has ever seen eclipsing the previous move from 2017 into early 2018 so this being the biggest biggest sustained run it's never been on this type of a marathon it's due for a major correction and when i say major on all of these cryptos I'm talking take the high 
and at the very least be on the lookout for at least a 50 percent correction of the highs maybe 61.8 correction of the highs and because of the size of this move i would say even 80 percent of the highs at some point whatever the highs are gonna be if the highs are not now maybe later but be on the lookout these are the targets in my downside targets 50 percent of the eventual high or 61 or even if it's going to be an aggressive reversal 80 percent off whatever high the cryptos are going to record at some point this is unsustainable and it is only sustainable there's only one way this can be sustainable only one way you need a rest form a new base and break out that's the only way it can be sustainable something else this is now month number six that we've seen ethereum's stage a fresh or a positive monthly closing high month number six again it's not gonna keep going higher every month it's due for one of these shaving off whatever the high is gonna be at some point and it's gonna happen facts take a look at litecoin now litecoin is a little bit different it hasn't seen the biggest move ever recently because the 2017 move is way bigger than this current move if we take a look at bitcoin we can see that the recent move in price of course is bigger than the move it had in 2017 into early 18. Now, Bitcoin would need to break out above the recent monthly closing high if the cryptos are gonna see higher prices. Now, this is also an option. It needs to break out and it can break out, it is possible. If the cryptos are gonna move higher, Bitcoin is gonna have to break out above the recent monthly closing high otherwise as i mentioned in a recent video because of the size of this move which is the biggest ever it means that it is due for a pullback and it is already showing signs of that pullback now let's put things in perspective from here to here we saw an 80 percent drop so be on the lookout for an aggressive move down once things are primed for lower prices take a look at btc on the let's go to the weekly first and again the only way btc can see 70,000 80,000 100,000 1 million thousand million of millions the only way it can move beyond the current highs is with a breakout so until we see a breakout in btc above the recent weekly closing high or above the recent monthly closing high right now it is sideways it is still within the base and as we see with the nasdaq should btc go on to crack below the recent weekly closing low from the month of april should it break that low we need to be on the lookout for a serious violation of the base and of course we know that that would be priming the cryptos and potentially the general market stocks that is for lower prices also be on the lookout for this rsi lows line because if we break it or if we break this area here this black line was a recent support right there that was support that needs to hold in other words btc can be sideways and hold above these two lines and things are gonna be fine i would expect the cryptos to be stable to bullish but if it turns out that they break below these two lines watch out for the next stage of this move which is going to be for an aggressive down move quick look at the daily another way to look at this crypto market is just observe where bitcoin is trading in relationship to the 50-day moving average it needs to be above that 50-day moving average to sustain a stable base otherwise right now the 50-day moving average is seemingly acting as resistance and this in itself could be set in the stage for lower prices recently i'd shared this line which is the recent backtest line 
where we went above it and back below it right there and so as long as we are trading below the blue line this is suggesting to me that there is an emerging look an emerging consideration here that prices actually for the entire crypto landscape are leaning down and again watch that general market watch us stocks because the cryptos have not been trading in a vacuum remember as bitcoin was recording its all-time highs last month so was the nasdaq recording all-time highs so really the cryptos are reflecting the general sentiment in the stock market so whatever happens to the stock market is gonna extend and influence the crypto market there is no such thing as a vacuum and so it is eric moathe love light light love namaste